Donald Trump tonight will remain at the center of a case that goes on, alleging a criminal enterprise with a suburban Chicago minister and with a Chicago publicist, among 19 defendants charged in a sweeping racketeering indictment. Trump and the group accused of trying to illegally overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. Tonight, the case continues, even though the prosecutor has resigned after a romantic relationship with his boss, the district attorney, was exposed. The DA, Fannie Willis, will remain in place, but her special prosecutor and former boyfriend, Nathan Wade, is out, according to the Friday judge's ruling here in Georgia. It looks bad. It smells bad. It's bad enough that here's the action I'm going to take. One of you is gone. Veteran Chicago defense attorney Steve Greenberg represents this woman, Trevian Cootie, a Chicago publicist charged with conspiracy to commit solicitation of false statements and allegedly trying to convince a poll worker to falsely admit election fraud to help Trump's efforts. Now, Cootie will be facing a new, perhaps more potent prosecutor. From my viewpoint, sometimes the, the devil you have is certainly better than the devil you may get. Right? So I would rather have someone who doesn't know what they're doing stay on a case. There's always the chance that they're going to be able to go out now and find someone who does know what they're doing. We're facing the extinction of America. Orland Park Minister, the Reverend Stephen Lee, tonight also vowing to take it to trial. Lee's attorney says both the DA and her prosecutor should have been ousted. I'd like to think it seems it's becoming more and more evident that uh, the criminal justice system is being utilized for political purposes and not to uh, not to mete out justice, uh, you know, uh, they, which is just uh, terribly, terribly unfortunate. Former federal prosecutor and chief ABC7 legal analyst Gil Sofer says the soap opera-like interruption of this case could create problems down the road. The only lasting possible effect is it, it could put a cloud over this case in the sense that when a jury someday is impaneled, they may know about this. They may have heard about this. They probably will. And it could, in some way we can't appreciate, affect their thinking on the trial. That's the possibility. Ex-President Trump tonight has been handed a gift by the way this one-time romance in the DA's office spilled onto a major election court case. So says our legal analyst, Gil Sofer. It's allowed Mr. Trump to underscore his contention that the system is rigged against him and it's caused another delay. Both Chicago defendants and the others in this Trump case could well see additional delays if today's ruling shaking up the prosecutor table happens to be appealed. We don't know the answer to that at this point. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.